In this example, we want to evaluate uh, what's called an improper integral of 1 over x going from 1 to infinity. Okay. So the reason this is called improper integral is because, uh, because of the form that we have here. The upper bound of this integral is going to infinity. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to rewrite this or express this integral in terms of a limit. Okay. So we're going to have the limit of, we're going to let b approach infinity. So we have the limit of the integral from 1 to b of 1 over x dx. Okay. So to do this, we need to evaluate the integral and then uh, take the limit of that result. Okay. So if the limit is converging to um, some specific value, then we say that that integral is converging. Okay. Otherwise, if the limit is approaching infinity or negative infinity, the result um, is divergent. Okay. So let's go ahead and proceed from here. Okay. We're going to take the integral of 1 over x, which we know is going to be natural log x. Okay. So we have the limit as b approaches infinity of natural log x. And I'm not going to worry about the absolute value here uh, because we're looking only on, we're only going from one to infinity. So we're looking only on this part of the, uh, on this part, on, on this, on this side of the, um, on the positive side of the y axis. Okay. All right. So, all right. So then from there, we need to plug in our bounds. Okay, so we have the natural log. Oops. B minus the natural log of one. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, so the natural log function, remember, is an increasing function, okay, for all x. So as b, as the argument is increasing, the natural log function is increasing. So this is going to give us, um, this is going to give us infinity. And that natural log 1 is just 0. Okay, so this is equal to infinity. So therefore, uh, this, uh, this is diverging. Okay, so... Okay, so what this means, okay, what this implies graphically is that, okay, we're looking at, here's the function 1 over x. This is part of the, this is part of the graph of 1 over x. Um, and if we look at going from 1, okay, so here's at 1. And then let's say b is somewhere here, and we're letting b approach infinity. Okay, and then here's the corresponding area between the curve and the x-axis and 1 and b. So this area, okay, what's happening is that according to the result of this integral, the area uh, of this region is, approach, is getting bigger and bigger. In other words, it's approaching infinity as b approaches infinity, okay? So area is growing. So the area is going to infinity as B approaches infinity. Okay. So it's diverging. 